You say the commandments. Let's go back to the commandments. Go to Revelation 22, I think 36. Let me show you something about the commandments. Because those are the curses, right? It don't matter what we do, we were not going to be able to overcome these curses. Okay? These curses are going to be upon us for a sign. And let's get that. Go to Deuteronomy first. Go to Deuteronomy. These curses are going to be for, on us for a sign. What's a sign? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46 and they shall and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder what's the sign right or some some you see that identifies something right uh one sign that our people are cursed you may see a brother walking around here straight dirty underwear showing walking like some think it, that's cool that's a sign that the curse is on my people. All right, what, what's another sign? Black on black crime. You know what I'm saying? We just killing our brothers. We hate ourselves more than we hate other nations. Other nations go to war with nations. We go to war with our own damn people. That's another sign. A person from China come over here, they'll know who the people of God, God is. Because the sign is right on us. Homosexuality is rampant. You know, all this stuff is a rampant amongst our people. Another nation automatically know. They go, they'll build a liquor store and they they gonna see who could and buy all the liquor. Out. They're gonna look on the side of the street and see the bombs and all this stuff. Alright? Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed. Forever upon our children forever. What that means? Your great 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 granddaddy died, and his his he had a child carried on this. So now it's on us. You have a child. Guess what? It's gonna be on them. Your child gonna grow up killing each other, not getting married, having babies, having abortions. Curse. Curse. Now, why are the curses are upon our people? Because what happened? We didn't do what? We didn't follow the commandments. He already said to us the curses are going to be upon us. Go to Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 1. What happens if we keep the commandments? Huh? What happens if we keep the curses? The curses are broken. I'm going to prove that. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 and it shall come to pass if thou wilt if thou shalt hearken it said now if thou shalt hearken read diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. On high, what does it mean to be on high, to be set on high? Like uh, powerful, powerful now. Powerful now, yeah. Read. Above all nations of the earth. You'll be above all nations upon the earth. Who's above all nations on the earth right now? The white man. Why? It always got to be somebody, it always got to be a head, always got to be a tail. Ain't no such thing as everybody equal. In the animal kingdom, nothing, nowhere. All right? Now, if we keep the commandment, what the Lord say? He going to do what? Set us on high, read. And all these blessings shall come on thee and now, overtake thee. Now all the blessings are going to come upon us and overtake us. For two minutes. Because right minutes. now the curses spread the are overtaking it's us. Two minutes, not Read. Too long. If thou out. shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You what? hear that? So, the blessings, it's, 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 it's huge to be blessed. You know what I mean? Jump down so we're not going to, we're going to be the head instead of the tail. What are we, what are we doing here? We're proving that so-called Puerto Ricans are, are an Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim, according to the Bible. How do we know that? Because of the curses that we're in. The Bible proves it. The Bible proves who we are. The Bible is our history book. It documents right. who we are, 
how we got here and where we're going. It documents the the uh, the uh, uh, Spaniards coming over here, colonizing our people, whether it be from uh, so-called blacks, I mean so-called blacks or so-called Native Americans. It don't matter. We prove that we the Israelites according to the Bible. All right. Now read that. Verse thirteen. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Because right now we're the what? We're the tail. He said the Lord shall make thee the head. That is a blessing. All right? Any more? And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. So we right now we're beneath. All right? He said we shall be above only. All right. Commandments. Let's go to some commandments and describe some. Go to... Go to uh, Matthew 22 and 36. Let me show you something about the commandments here. Check Matthew 22 out. Check out. and 36. All right, read that. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 36. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? So someone asks, which is the, ask Jesus, which is the great commandment in the law? Read. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So that's the first, that's the great commandment to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul. Read. And with all thy mind. And with all thy mind. Read. This is the first and great commandment. All right, you heard that? That's the first and great commandment, to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, and mind. Read. And the second is like unto it. So the second is like unto the first commandment. Here's the second. What's like unto the first commandment? Read that. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. It say, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Who is your neighbor? Go to Leviticus, huh? Who is your peers? Go to Leviticus 19. Who is your peers? Is it everybody? No. Who is it? Everyone. That's not our oppressors. That's what we'll try to do. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. You're right. Everybody on this side right here. Right. Not the people that colonized you, killed you, slaughtered you, and want you to forget. Right. But they still celebrate it to this day. What you think Independence Day means? What you think Thanksgiving means? You celebrating, you celebrating with them, but you celebrating your own uh, co conquer, being conquered. You celebrating yourself being conquered. Who does that? <laughs> All right. Now let's show you something. Let me show you that's your brother. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. You know, thou shalt not, thou, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So you should not hate your brother. Read. Thou shall in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Rebuke means to correct. You shall correct your neighbor. You see him going out, brother. No, that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Married his sister. You know what I'm saying? Pull up your pants, brother. You know what I'm saying? You fuck, you know, you want to be a good example to our people. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. You don't let them sin. All right, because what sin do? Bring on curses. Sin is death. The ways of sin is death. Read. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So who is your neighbor? The children of who? The children of thy people. So your neighbor will be the children of your people. Right? So like you said, the people on this sign is your neighbor. All right? So that's who we're showing your neighbor is. So the first and greatest commandment is what? To love God with your mind, your body, your soul, your heart. Okay, and the second greatest commandment, which is like unto the first, is what? Thy neighbor, love thy neighbor. And who is your neighbor? The twelve tribes of Israel. Right, those are That's your brothers. Right. Those are your neighbors. IUIC TV, where we are recreating the narrative for the black family. As the Bible says, where there's no vision, the people perish. The media have been vehicles that have conveyed destructive images of God's children, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Not only are we in the streets, but we are on the airwaves and networks compelling our people 
to come back to their heritage. Tune in to IUIC TV. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.